Hi guys, today we go behind the lens with none other than Mike Hanuski, who is a local based actor here in Atlanta, but no stranger to the national stage. So just to give you an idea of what this man has been up to, you've caught him on The Good Wife, Necessary Roughness, Devious Maids, Reckless, Million Dollar Arm, to name like a, a very, very, a very few. small <laughs> few, just a couple. Is it 30 years now experience? Uh, 31 years, yeah. Wow. 31 years in the market. Well, Mike, welcome, Thank welcome, you. Thanks for welcome. having me. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah. thank you for being here. You actually grew up in LA mm -hmm. from Los Angeles and you moved to Atlanta. So I tell did. us a little bit about that story and how you ended up here. Uh, well, um, I married a Southern girl. Oh, yeah. And hey, uh, that, changes, <laughs> that changes everything. When we got together, um, we had some pretty definitive ideas about how we wanted to raise a family mm -hmm. and all. And, and we decided that we didn't want to raise kids in L.A. I mean, moving from L.A. was not a business decision. In fact, you know, some people I know thought it was a pretty stupid business decision, mm -hmm. but it wasn't about business. It was about personal life and family and quality of life more than anything. You, though, are not held back by this Atlanta market. <laughs> you uh, no. are everywhere. Yes. How did very you lucky make guy. that happen? Uh, that was a pretty, it was a lot of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, you know, I, a lot of things. I, my story is unique because I am very fortunate in that I, I spent a, 10 years in LA working and built a really good foundation in the industry with people that I knew, uh, casting people, agents, etc. So even when I moved here, I still was able to keep my feet in the water out there and was still able to go out and audition and work. Mm -hmm. and, and so that made a big difference. And then also while I was here, I was able to get connected in New York um, with terrific agents up there who keep me in the mix. And then what I also had to do was I had to set it up so I could travel. And mm -hmm. I could travel on a moment's notice because the only way this whole thing works is if in my case, uh, my commitment to my agents is I can be anywhere you need me to be in 24 hours. Wow. How do you make that happen? <laughs> I know. Well, uh, buddy I, I, I have buddy passes. <laughs> I have I have a lot of different things that I can utilize to get there. I have places to stay. Um, I thought and, you were going to say, and that private jet I have <laughs> is no, helpful. No, I don't. No. Uh, you know, I, I don't do it by myself. And of course, my wonderful wife and my family has been incredibly supportive with this because, uh, you know, all of that keeps me into the industry at a level which has been very productive for a long time. And whether it's there or, or here, you know, my status is that, that it, it's really helped me stay active and stay at a level in the industry, which is really great. So Mike, when you look back on your career, you have many, many roles, but any particular ones that you're just very proud of? Um, I, uh, there's, there's so many, and I've been, fortunate enough to work with some amazing people, both behind and in front of the camera. Um, it's it's really hard. Uh, I, I am especially proud of a little short film I did many years ago called Two Soldiers that won the Academy Award for Best Live Action Short. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, it's available on Netflix, I believe, if anybody wants to see it. Check it uh, out. It's based on a uh, William Faulkner short story and just beautifully shot, uh, wonderful performances, Ron Perlman's in it. Mm -hmm. Um, and a uh, lovely story about two brothers and um, it's really sweet and, and I'm really really fortunate to be a part of it. It was one of these little projects where nobody made any money. It was a passion project for Lisa Finn Cannon who called me to read for it and mm -hmm. uh, really glad I did it because it's a wonderful little film. Well we're going to move on to something uh, that you were talking about. There are just so many and, and the gratitude is endless because Mr. Panuski is a legend. So we oh, want to play a small game I with you. I ain't dead yet. Let's play a game. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't cheat because the, our I answers are cheat? on here. Mm -hmm. Nope. But uh, no. we're going to ask you a few questions and the game is called How Well Do You Know Mike Panuski? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want me to start? Boy, if I don't win this thought. game, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, so here we go. In what year did you play the role of Braden in Hill Street Blues? Um, uh, it was 1984. Yeah. <laughs> Can you name the two roles you played in Matlock? I was a priest and... Um, oh, man. <laughs> Two roles. I know I was a priest Two roles in one show. I know I was a priest because my parents were so, so thrilled because they wanted me to be a priest. <laughs> uh, I can't remember. Okay, so it's Father David Burke, which is your priest, uh -huh. and Mitch. Mitch. Yeah. Can you name the lead of the show, Reasonable Doubts, in which you were in six episodes? Oh, Mark Harmon. Yes. Yeah, fellow UCLA Bruin, a wonderful guy. That was fun. 
Yeah. Because we had all kind of stuff to talk about because we both went to UCLA. Next up, Ooh. how many credits do you presently have on IMDb? I, I, I know it's over 100. Mm -hmm. It's uh, well, well over 100. Okay. Um, I'm, you want to take a guess? 40. 151. So Whoa. that was close. 151. Let's just okay. take a moment. Okay. Breathe that in, people. Breathe that that's, in. That's a lot of work. There, there, thank you very much. In what three different years, uh, in what three years did you do episodes of Law and Order? There were three different times you were on Law and Order. What years? Uh, three were they? different years? Three different years. I made them tough. I made them this tough. This one is not easy. No. <laughs> uh, it is. I, I, I don't know. Okay, 2002. Okay. 2005. Okay. And 2007. Beautiful. All Those right. Good years. All right, so what are the two most recent projects listed on your IMDb page? Uh, probably Mina mm -hmm. and uh, Mercy Street. Yes, but I'm going to give you that one because they're all in the founder. Yes. Oh yeah, and the founder. Yes, the founder. So Michael tell Peter. us a little yes. bit about Mina and the founder, since I mean I know they were pretty big productions. Uh, that yeah, we're, we're uh, Mina's uh, Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. uh, a very interesting story based on a true story about a guy who was a pilot, who was a commercial pilot, and then ended up working for the CIA, and then he ended up double dipping, working for the CIA as well as running drugs back from Central America and. The whole movie sort of culminates with the plane crash that exposed the whole Iran Contra mess. So it's a it's a really interesting story. How many episodes were you on The Good Wife, or have you done? Uh, I think I just did my eleventh. Oh, oh, we don't we even know that. Wrong boom! He just took us. We had ten. Oh yeah. But we didn't even know about eleven. I just did one uh, last month. Now yeah. it's eleven. And I'm going it's back 11. in a couple of weeks. Amazing. Now, Soon yeah. to be 12. They're lovely. Oh, man, they're so cool people. Uh, and that's a good show. It's a great show. Yes, it's great a great show. set to work on. What's it's it like on that nice set? set? It's wonderful. Uh, I mean, the material is great. Mm -hmm. uh, the material is always so good. Uh, and the actors are always so good. And, and that's one of the things that I think helps me is that when you're in those environments, when you're working with people at the top of their game, it just makes you better. Yeah. Uh, and they're just such great people. I spend most of my time working with Alan, coming in, Juliana, and they're just great. They're just really great people to work with. I got one more for you. Okay. On what show did you play Tommy Donegan? Um, uh, Franklin and Bash. Yes! yes. <laughs> I think you know Mike Paniski pretty yeah. well. I hope so. Actually. <laughs> that, yeah. was, that was funny because they, yes. they, they, uh, they never, they, and they admitted they never would have thought of me for that role as the philandering airline pilot. But they wanted somebody who was by nature just seemingly very likable, ordinary guy. And, I guess the unlikable and ordinary. Mike, before we wrap up, knowing that you're kind of a plan guy, what, what's what's next on the plan? What, where well, are we going? My my ultimate plan, my ultimate goal has always been to be a series regular, mm, yeah. and I am continuing that fight. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty-one years in, uh, and uh, so that, that's my plan. Eventually, to get to that point and have a regular gig on mm -hmm. hopefully a lovely show, and. Um, that's, that's, you know, I feel, like, I feel like as much as I've been able to do, and I'm incredibly grateful for that, I, I still haven't hit the point where I want to hit yet. Mm -hmm. I still feel like my best days are ahead of me, mm -hmm. and um, I want to get that regular gig. So mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm going for. Mike, thank you so much mm -hmm. for being here today. We just well, thank really, you for having me. really appreciate, appreciate it. it. It was fun. And make sure to check out Mike Panewski on Madam Secretary. Yes, yes. Not coming out September. Madam Secretary in September, The Good Wife. Uh, and uh, yeah. And then also the founder oh, Blue Bloods, and Nina also. Blue will be Bloods. coming up. Tell uh, us about Blue, Blue Bloods. Bloods. Yes. Blue Bloods, I'm going back there next week. Um, I, it's a really fun character I play. He's the head of the U.S. Marshal Service. Not a very nice guy. <laughs> uh, but it's just too fun. Um, and yeah, I'm going back. So great. Well, really you can great. see Mike in, in many areas. Mm -hmm. TV, on, on film, all over the place. Go to MikePanewski.com. You can find out more. And thank you so much for being here well, today. Well, thank I you guys really for having me. And it. those of you who want career coaching or a little bit of inspiration, acttowin.com is where you can find out more about the mentoring and the career coaching that Mike does. Um, I'm Beth Keener. And I'm Greer Howard. And thank you for going with us Behind the Lens.